That sunburned me out. Not only did I shave it, but I shaved it with a sunburn. The only thing I had to say was that it hurt like a son of a bitch. <laughs> so anyway, we tried to make a video inside, didn't pan out too well, so we walked out to the car, Kind of dark outside, so we've got the, uh, the above lights on. Look at that. Fun stuff. So, again, Brett, I hear you're bald. Yes, I've been bald for about six years, and... Um, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Now, that's that's very strange. It actually because, suits me. Because I've got the same thing going on. I know, right? What? Oh, wow. Wow. Weird. That looks good on you, man. You should sport it. It's all blended in. Like, I've got a tan on it now, and... Mm -hmm. Uh, when I first started, went bald, uh, it was uh, back in high school, my junior year, and I was starting to get thinned out right in here. Yeah. And uh, junior year, by the senior year, it was really thin. And when I graduated in 09, that summer, I decided to shave it all off, and uh, it's been my hairstyle since. Uh, what was I going to say? But, but generally, the ladies dig it, right? They do, they do. Especially I mean, the older ones. I was self-conscious for a couple of years, like at least three. Now, why were you self-conscious about I being just, bald? I see everybody with hair, and it just kind of, you look at yourself and like, yeah, I'm bald, and everybody's got hair. And But now, a few years later, I'm older and more wiser, and i got the beard thing going on, and it suits me. And I, I, was gonna I don't say really the, care the beard, anymore now. The beard, the, beard, the beard picks it up, but when you're, you know, uh, I think the phrase is called toe-headed. Yeah. When you you know when you're when you're basically baby face and bald is probably yeah you gotta have yeah. you gotta have the beard with it and the piercings you know I got the ears pierced and the tattoos. It's funny. And, I was just saying I, I, yeah I got the minus the thats I, yeah. I've yet to get it. It's just it's never been on my uh, it's never been at the top of my agenda. But I think yeah. this year I'm gonna change that. Yeah. It's a little awkward at first when you're not used to it, but you know over time it changes you and you feel more comfortable about it. So. Now, if you you know if you could grow hair back, would you rather have hair, or would you rather be who you are now? Um, there's times actually I do think about that, wondering like, oh, I wish I had long hair, you know, because I play in a rock band, of course, and you know everybody in rock bands mostly have the the long hair going on, rocking it out, but mm -hmm. it I I don't know, I'm used to this now, so I prefer to be bald. You are, um, you play, you're, you're the bass player for Octolux, right? Yes. And uh, how long have you been with Octolux? Um, I've actually been with Octolux since uh, July of 2015, and I got to be part of the Atomic album, which mm -hmm. was released. Nice. Yeah. And the band, it's, they've been around since 1999, so. Mm -hmm. Very cool. All right, so thank you guys for hanging in there. This is uh, Rent with Octolux. Guys, take it easy. Rock on. Rock on. I'm in the Annex building. The inmates out and we have an elder, as I said, with the road department. The road department will the operators and the heavy equipment. And see, it leaves. It just goes. And you're going to say, man, I wish I kept my hair long when I had the chance. So this is Bruce Whitson yeah. with the Ellis Coalition. You're the VP, right? I am VP so far, of the Ellis Coalition. So far. Yeah, nice. Yes, She's doing a good job. Oh, good. So we're here at the. Uh, we're actually here at um, the Jeff Bohannon event. He's actually right there being interviewed by Alex 18. That's him. And uh, no, no, no. What insight did you have on being bald again? Or not, or the hair insight loss? that I have is hair today, gone tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Those are words of wisdom from someone Here's older than you. Okay. <laughs> it's like I've been doing this by choice. It's about this. Oh. oh. What, what are your What are your thoughts? Let me give me my sunglasses. What are your What are your thoughts on um, how long have you been bald? Uh, let's see, Dev, how long have you been shaving my head? Five years. Four years. Five years. So you've been shaving. Were you You were doing the horseshoe thing. 
It started, yeah, mine was kind of like right in here. It wasn't all the way around, but you know, that's when it started, started balling on the top. So I just, you know, I trimmed it down real short, kind of like you are. And then, yeah. uh, and then see how the, I saw how that looked and thought, well, my head's okay for this. Yeah. And then I shaved it the rest of the way off to see how it would look and stuck with it. Both have advantages, I think. Uh, I think for me, probably hair will be maybe more important if you were younger. But uh, now I look at it like it's easy to shave my head. Yeah. I don't care if it's raining. I don't care if the wind's blowing. I don't have to worry about combing it. None of that stuff. So, mm -hmm. so, so I like it. Uh, you know. Uh, it's hard for me to say. I always said, you know, if I kind of got to the point where I thought my hair was thinning out, I'd probably cut it short or shave my head. Yeah. <laughs> and at the end of the day, I guess it just, uh, for me, was, do I have the right kind of head for it? I've heard that a couple of times. Do you have the right shape of head? Do you have the right kind of shape of head for it? Now, yeah. And, you know, so. Uh, I don't know, do we have the right shape of head? Uh, yeah. I think he'd happening. be okay, don't you think? He'd have a good head for it. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I don't know what exactly how to describe the right shape head, but to uh, I was in law enforcement. I went through a, a police academy. Uh, well, it was law enforcement academy, federal law enforcement academy, with a guy from New York mm -hmm. that had a shaved head and a beard. Yeah. Now, he looked awesome. He looked awesome. Yeah. And that's called the bald eagle. So. And that's what I always thought about. You know, if I ever get to where you know, <laughs> my hair thins out, I'm shaving my head because he looks cool with yeah. his. <laughs> so, you guys, I'm standing out here outside uh, First Baptist Church. I'm going to just keep it short. Check out the uh, the Ellis Coalition uh, video we I'm going to be posting up soon. It's uh, associated with uh, Jeff Bohannon's presentation. He came up from Florida to talk about... Um, I guess you would say his uh, his reinvention prison system, where it uh, where it utilizes uh, completely, it basically reforms everything you know about the, your basic prison system, retention rates, um, job quality, people are, you know the you know job ap ap eh, applicability, and the skills that a lot of uh, prisoners, you know when they're when they come out of prison that they could have. So keep your eyes peeled for the. Uh, Jeff Bohannon presentation. I'm going to try to have that wrapped up here very soon. So today is the cold morning of October 25th. I'm working on um, working on a couple of a uh, couple of job specs, job prospects right now. Uh, one of which is being a brand ambassador. I have a have an interview for that in a little bit for a. Uh, a local wine place it's cold so I have a beanie on my head when you're bald you don't have hair you need that beanie to keep your bald head warm you can hear me <laughs> hey, good buddy oh baby good hey, buddy All right, guys. First box, new place, number one. Every time we try, we get nowhere. This is Justin. Darren in the background looking very enthusiastic, paperwork, all that fun stuff at work, right? So just come here. Let's come here real quick. Let me tell us tell us what you guys just did, right? Well it's pretty pretty neat and pretty fun. And we uh, gave a hot tub away here. So a, you, uh, pink you partnered hot tub. up, right? You partnered up with Nash yep. FM to uh, to give away this pink hot tub, right? And what's 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 the cost? Well the cost was for breast cancer awareness. So we wanted to give back to the community and we wanted to do something special and this was the best way of doing it. So we had a great turnout, it was really awesome. And and uh, we were able to give away this pink hot tub. And the neat thing is, the actual winner was a breast cancer survivor. So that's really cool. That was awesome. So that made it even more special. That's pretty cool. Hey, man. Right on. Right. So appreciate you, appreciate you coming out, Stephen. Thank you, man. Really awesome time. Anyway, this is the uh, this is the crowd. Well, what's left of the crowd? There was like 60 some people here. I mean, they were filling up the whole whole store. But uh, yeah, this is just the kind of stuff that happens when you're bald. I got a, I got a buzz. It's a couple days old again. So yeah. Let's get
982, no, 9,822 steps. My goal for the day is to ask your boy, what are you doing? Come on, buddy. Come on, watch out. Goal for the day is 10,000 steps. So I'm gonna uh, move down in the, uh, the front doorway, uh, the front passage hallway of the apartment and I'm gonna cheat real quick and get these steps. <laughs> <laughs> Ten thousand steps, baby. Yeah.